Hi, uh, I'm Hongyu Kim and from LG Electronics, and I'm going to tr uh, introduce about the new function tracing tool, uh, which is called the uh, UF Trace. And UF Trace is a uh, newly open sourced, and then you can download it from the GitHub. And let's see, the, there is a function main, and main function calls foo, and foo calls bar, and if we compile it, we get this kind of binary, and if we recompile uh, this program with minus pg option, it inserts all the mcount function calls at the entry of each function. And if we uh, execute it with a uf trace record, it can re record all the trace, and then it, we can replay it. And you can see the result. And also, you don't have to record it, and then you can just uh, do the live command, and you can just omit it. The right, the the right, right block is, uh, explains about the call chain, and then main function calls foo, foo, foo function calls bar, and bar just returns. And this is the thread ID, and this is the function duration. For example, the foo function just uh, executed this amount of time. This is timestamp based and not sampling based. So the, it, it provides a various filters, but it has uh, the most important thing is the time filter. It, uh, let's say if if I just put a minus t, 200 nanosecond, it removes all the function calls that that is under the uh, 200 nanoseconds, and then so it's very good for when you when you watch the big picture only, because there are so, too many small functions, so it is removed. And if we, once once the trace is recorded, and and then you can see the report. This is a summary, and then it shows the total time and self time, and then number of calls. And let's say there is a Fibonacci example, which is written in a recursive way. And if we execute it, and then it just shows the result. And we have trace that shows the this output. And the main function calls foo, uh, Fibonacci number, uh, Fibonacci functions recursively. And then if you want to see the arguments, and then you can put this option, and it shows the Fibonacci five calls Fibonacci 4, and then it goes on and on and on. And then you can also see the return value as well. And it means that a Fibonacci 2 returns 1, and the Fibonacci 1 returns 1. And this way, as a result, Fibonacci 5 returns 5. And mm -hmm. once you record it, and then you can also dump it. But if you put a my dash dash Chrome option, you can dump it as a JSON format. This JSON format can be uh, dumped into a file, and this file can be uh, opened in the Chrome browser without any other installation. And you can just go to the Chrome tracing, and then you can open it, and then it shows the result. The, this is the timeline, and it goes to the call depths. And you can also uh, trace the STL as well. So there is an example, shared pointer. And then it allocates only one single integer, and in the inner block, it shares the uh, the the allocated integer is shared with another shared pointer, and we can recompile it and then we execute it, and then we can provide more filters, and you can see this kind of result. This is the internal of the STL, and first block just to allocate, and second block just to add the reference counter only. And then the third block just to decrement the reference counter, and last block just to deallocate it. And you can also analyze the Clang compiler itself internally. Those are all Clang Clang functions. So as you can see, you can see the parse AST and backend code generation, these kind of things. Because uh, I I put the time filter here. If you decrease the time filter, you can see more results. And uh, there is another example. And then the Fibonacci example can be written in a template meta programming way. And then you can just compile it. And there is a lot of uh, recursive expansion. And I can, I can show you the demo here. This is opened in the Chrome browser. And you can see here. And it shows the, a lot of uh, function calls. If you go, and then you can search. And then if you find something here, uh, because there is a really, really deep call depth here, actually. If you make just a zoom in, 
you can find a lot of repeated patterns. If you search as a special, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can you can see the repeated pattern here, and then template specialization. Another example is a V JavaScript engine. You can see the shape of the JavaScript engine here. And then you can magnify it. You can see the, a lot of background threads are just executed to optimize the, some JavaScript function calls. The console output looks just like that. You can just uh, run the UF trace and then minus dash 100 milliseconds. This is the entire execution function calls of the client. You can, if you see the entire, this is too much actually. You don't see everything. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much. Thank you.